Welcome back to Quantum Yogi Wisdom. I'm not kidding when I say your manifestation is just one ritual away. With the super blue full moon happening on the 19th of August, the veil between the spiritual and material realms is thinning. As you approach this full moon, you can already feel the intense amplified energy. If you've been seeing repetitive numbers like 1111 or 888, don't worry. It's simply a way for the universe to communicate with you. In this video, I'm about to reveal why this rare super blue full moon holds the key to shifting your identity and manifesting your desire very, very fast. As the full moon reaches its peak on August 19th, it unlocks a doorway to abundance, heightened intuition, and amplified spiritual potential for you. This peak energy will remain potent from the 19th of August until the 21st of August. This video is going to be very important to you, so pay close attention and watch till the very end. In this video, you will learn to bend the reality to your wish while aligning your mind, body, and soul. I will also share a powerful manifestation ritual to do on the night of this super blue moon. Because this isn't just any full moon, it's a cosmic powerhouse that intensifies your intentions with unmatched force. And on average, this happens only once in 10 years. But before we get started, if you enjoy content on spirituality, manifestation and self-discovery, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If you're trying to manifest something into your life, you absolutely cannot miss the full moons that occur between June 21st, the summer solstice, and December 21st, the winter solstice, especially the blue full moon on the 19th of August. This full moon is incredibly powerful and holds the potential to bring your manifestations to life very, very fast. But there's a catch, and that's what you'll discover in this video. This rare super blue moon won't return until 2037, making the 19th of August a very, very rare moment to tap into its powerful energy. A supermoon refers to a full moon that appears larger and brighter in the sky due to its closer proximity to Earth in its orbit. A seasonal blue moon is the third full moon in an astrological season with four full moons. When these two events occur together, we get a super blue full moon. When the sun, moon, and Earth align in a straight line, this alignment will amplify our subconscious behavior and also the energy around us. The beliefs and thoughts rooted in your subconscious mind are powerfully amplified during times like these. What you see in your current physical reality is a direct reflection of your subconscious programming, much of which was imprinted during your earliest years, from infancy to about age seven. In this formative period, we absorb the beliefs and behaviors of our caregivers, along with the experiences that shape our subconscious. To manifest the reality you desire, you must first transform this deeply ingrained programming. Cosmic events like the full moon offer a unique opportunity to rewire your subconscious mind at lightning speed. Let me explain to you why and pay very close attention to this if you are a new viewer of our channel. During a full moon, the moon is on one side of the earth, directly opposite the sun. This alignment creates a straight line with the earth in the middle. In many cultures, the sun and moon represent the balance between masculine and feminine energies, and what happens in the cosmos directly affects us here on Earth. We can tap into this powerful energy if we know how, because everything in the universe is connected. Quantum physics explains this connection through quantum entanglement. In yogic and tantric traditions, the left nostril is linked to the Ida Nadi, the lunar or feminine energy channel, while the right nostril connects to the Pingala Nadi, the solar or masculine channel. When you breathe through your left nostril, it activates the Ida Nadi, bringing calmness, receptivity, and cooling energy. As the full moon approaches, you might notice your left nostril becoming more active at night. This is a great time for imaginative work and visualization, as it stimulates the right side of your brain, which is more visual and intuitive. On the other hand, when the right nostril is dominant, your mind is more focused on the physical senses. Let me know in the comments which nostril is active for you. This is why we practice Anuloma Viloma, also known as alternate nostril breathing, to stimulate both the feminine and masculine channels. Practicing Anuloma Viloma not only reduces stress and anxiety, but also helps you attract your true desires. When we talk about masculine and feminine, we're not referring to gender. Instead, we're describing fundamental qualities in existence, polarities. The physical world thrives on these opposites, day and night, left and right, good and bad, 
positive and negative, masculine and feminine, male and female. These polarities create the balance that allows everything to exist. Male and female are expressions of masculine and feminine qualities, not qualities themselves. When masculine energy aligns with feminine energy, it ignites the process of creation. Everything in the universe, no matter how big or small, is formed through this law of gender. Every time these energies come together in harmony, something new is born. This is how all life begins. Just as the sun and earth represent masculine and feminine energies, so do our conscious and subconscious minds. During a super blue full moon, when these energies align, feeding your desires into your subconscious mind can lead to rapid manifestation because this is the most powerful time. Feminine energies like intuition, creativity, emotional expression, and nurturing are especially heightened during this period. You'll likely start noticing synchronicities, like repeatedly seeing numbers such as 11, 1111, or 888. Let me know in the comments which numbers you see most often. Now here's another interesting observation. Just as Earth is made up of 70% water, our brains, which hold universal potential, are composed of 73% water. This connection is no coincidence. During the super blue full moon, the moon's gravitational pull exerts a significant influence on Earth's oceans. A full moon represents growth, renewal, and amplification, much like how spring tides enhance the movement of the ocean. When the sun, moon, and Earth align, the solar tide combines with the lunar tide, creating exceptionally high high tides and very low low tides, known as spring tides. This surge of energy during a super blue full moon amplifies everything, transforming high tides into powerful waves and low tides into strikingly low points. Just as the moon's gravitational force influences the tides, it also affects our emotions, thoughts, and intentions because our bodies are mostly water. If you're feeling joyful, your happiness will deepen. If you're feeling melancholic, your sadness will intensify. This is a powerful time for visualization and setting intentions as they accelerate their manifestation into your physical reality. Your current emotions are amplified and reflected in your tangible world. It's crucial to be mindful of your thoughts during the super blue full moon and harness its energy to your benefit. The full moon magnifies everything about you. For those working on manifesting good health, fasting on a full moon day can be particularly effective. It helps regulate the body's acidity, cleanse the digestive system, and enhance brain function. Now let me tell you about an extremely powerful full moon ritual for manifesting your desires. You'll only need a pen, paper, a glass of water, and your focus. Before beginning, ensure you have a glass of water nearby, as it plays a crucial role which I will explain in the final step. The first step is setting clear and powerful intentions. Take some time to reflect on your heart's deepest desires. Write them down on paper, focusing on what you truly want to manifest in your life. Be specific and positive and use the present tense to create a strong resonance with the universe. Just writing it down doesn't help. You're writing affirmations to get a feeling out of it. You have to feel it as if it's really happening. Writing things down is important because it helps you hold on to the emotions and thoughts for a longer time. The more you hold on to your feelings, the faster the manifestation with the cosmic support from the full moon energy. The second step is to visualize your desires coming to fruition based on what you wrote in the first step. Visualization and affirmations are potent tools for amplifying your manifestation process. Close your eyes and picture your desires as if they have already been achieved, immersing yourself in the emotions of your success. Pair this practice with positive affirmations that reinforce your belief in your own abilities and the universe's support. The third step is moon bathing. Considering how the moon amplifies our inner qualities, imagine the profound impact of exposing yourself to its direct light. Bathing in the moon's bright glow can be incredibly powerful. This experience unlocks a new realm of possibilities within you, revealing hidden abilities and strengths. You'll feel a special connection to the universe, experiencing a transformation that surpasses your imagination. While moon bathing, you can recite your intentions, visualize your dreams coming true, or engage in a brief meditation to fully absorb the lunar energy. The fourth step is about releasing and letting go. Under the full moon, it's time to symbolically send your intentions out into the universe. Begin by holding the paper with your written affirmations, 
and take a moment to vividly visualize your desires already fulfilled. Feel the emotions associated with achieving them. Next, safely burn the paper, imagining your intentions being released into the vast universe. As the paper turns to ashes, express your gratitude to the universe or any higher power you believe in, thanking them for receiving your intentions. This act of burning symbolizes the release of your desires, allowing them to be processed by the universe. Let go of any attachment to the outcome and trust that the universe will work in harmony to manifest your desires in the best possible way. If you have any papers from previous full moon rituals, you can burn those as well, reinforcing your commitment to letting go and trusting the process. The fifth step is to embrace gratitude. This powerful yet often overlooked tool is crucial for effective manifestation. Manifestation thrives on high vibrational thoughts and feelings, and gratitude is one of the simplest ways to elevate your vibration. Even during challenging times, focusing on what you're grateful for can instantly raise your vibrational frequency. Gratitude serves as the key to unlocking abundance in your life. By expressing thanks for what you already have and anticipating the arrival of your desires, you align yourself with a higher frequency. Trust in the universe's timing and wisdom and have faith that your goals are on their way to you. Release any impatience or attachment to specific outcomes, understanding that this is a universal law. Gratitude is a profound emotion that stems from recognizing the good that has happened or is happening. Research shows that practicing gratitude can boost your immune system by up to 50% within just three days, thanks to the production of immunoglobulins, which defend against viruses and bacteria. By fostering an environment of positivity and acknowledging the good in your life, you signal to your body that positive changes are already in progress. The sixth and final step is to drink a glass of water that you placed in front of you at the beginning of the ritual. Water has a unique ability to absorb and hold the energy of our thoughts and emotions. As you engage in the ritual and experience positive vibrations and feelings, the water acts like a sponge, soaking up that energy. What's even more intriguing is that this water not only captures your personal energy, but also absorbs the amplified energies from the full moon. By drinking this charged water, you're aligning your entire being with the high vibrational frequencies of the ritual, further enhancing your manifestation process. As we conclude the ritual by drinking this water, it's like absorbing all the positive energy we've cultivated. It's as if we're receiving an extra boost from the super blue full moon, further aligning ourselves with our intentions and desires. The super blue full moon ritual isn't limited to the night of the full moon. It can also be performed on the two nights before and after. After completing the ritual, seamlessly transition back to your daily life while staying proactive about your goals. The heightened energy of the super blue full moon acts as a powerful amplifier rapidly transmitting your intentions to the universe. You'll be amazed as you see your manifestations start to take shape and materialize. Remember, just as the super blue full moon amplifies our emotions, it also magnifies our energy. Surround yourself with positivity, engage in activities that bring you joy, and spend time with people who uplift you. When you're in a positive state, your manifestations can gain even more momentum. The super blue full moon can truly make a difference, so use this special time to reflect, set your intentions, and believe in yourself as you work towards turning your dreams into reality. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.